Hey guys, Justin with Ready Business Systems, and today I'm going to go over remote assistance. So I've had experience working with uh, Gen M, uh, Upwork, as well as Fiverr, and I'll go over my experiences with the three of them, as well as the pros and cons, based on my experience. So most recently, I started using Upwork. Uh, Upwork, uh, excuse me. Uh, Gen M. Most recently, I started using Gen M. Uh, Gen M, I believe I discovered through a Facebook ad. And what they do is they're basically an online academy for marketing. And uh, they have interns. You're essentially hiring an intern, but you're not actually hiring them. They're volunteers, but you're paying $50 a month to use Gen M service, which helps connect these interns with employers. Uh, so these, these interns are expected to work 10 hours per week, uh, which if you do the math out, $50 uh, for 40 hours a month is like $1.25 an hour or something like that. And uh, that's very, very cheap. Uh, and I found honestly, uh, there it, it, for what you get, you're pretty much getting the same thing as someone on Upwork working from India for say, you know, $4 per hour. So, uh, I've had a good experience so far with Gen M. Uh, Upwork, the, the downside is they don't have any sort of time tracking built in. I believe it's in the works. They don't have any screenshots. So if you want to make sure they're putting in their 10 hours and keep track of what they're doing, you kind of need to come up with your own system. But I'm going to continue to work, use Gen M. It's also, uh, they expect you to mentor these people. So you're not just supposed to send them off to work and figure it out on their own. You're supposed to mentor them. You have to agree that you're going to mentor them each week and help train them. Uh, versus Upwork can be experienced people. You're just expected to hire them. You don't have to train them. Uh, they just do what they're supposed to do, what you hire them for. So, uh, and also Upwork is generally for marketing. Uh, so, excuse me, Gen M is generally for marketing, whereas Upwork is for any basically online tasks that, that you want done. Uh, so uh, down to Upwork, I've used this. I, I wasted a lot of money on it. It looks like back in 2015, um, you can hire anyone from you know a dollar an hour. I don't even know honestly how cheap it gets, but uh, at the time she had five stars. I'm not surprised she's down to three. Uh, but you can hire anyone. They can be really cheap, up to you know hiring people right here in the U.S. for you know 30 plus dollars an hour. So uh, on Upwork, you have a much bigger range of people. You pay them hourly. Uh, they have built-in time tracking, which I have here, so you can see how much they work a week. Uh, they also have a work diary, so they automatically take screenshots of what they're doing. This is too long ago, so they're expired, uh, but you can see exactly what they're doing. Uh, as an alternative, though, on Gen M, there are third-party screenshot applications that you could require them to use to update their time tracking. Uh, this is what I have for my Gen M guy. So I have a timesheet I asked him to fill out. Uh, clearly, he's not doing it, so it's not perfect. Uh, I also... Uh, created this spreadsheet basically of what I wanted to do to keep him organized. Uh, so Fiverr is more, is they do, you can do things hourly, but it's mostly quotable jobs. So Gen M and Upwork are generally hourly uh, things. Uh, Fiverr, they basically quote you and they do a job. Uh, and they, they generally are, um, they generally have certain services that they offer. So I've ordered several things in here. Uh, they have ratings, all these things that people have ratings, except for Upwork, sorry, excuse me, I keep mixing that up. Uh, Gen M does not have ratings, whereas Upwork and Fiverr do. These people have ratings, you can hire people with good ratings. As you can see, I've hired them anywhere from making videos, uh, speeding up my WordPress site, delivering blog posts. So uh, pretty affordable, works well for project-based things. Uh, Gen M, again, they expect you to mentor them. Uh, this, you know, you kind of have to manage them. Uh, Upwork has the, sc the screenshot uh, capabilities and there's a bigger labor pool and a bigger variety of tasks you can do. But on all these things with outside of Fiverr, who you're paying a fixed price for a certain, certain tasks, so on Upwork and Gen M, you do need to kind of manage these guys. And one big lesson I've learned, and you can also read about this in the four hour work week, I read this afterwards after I already experimented with these things, but you need to keep them accountable and give them a few tasks to do at once. So I hadn't used an online assistant for a while outside of Fiverr until just recently when I started using Gen M. Uh, but you do need to kind of micromanage them, make sure that they're doing their time. Uh, also, and again, this guy's been slacking. Uh, I've gotten busy. I haven't been monitoring him as much. Uh, but the tasks I gave him, uh, I gave him too much stuff to do. 
he created his own little content plan here uh, with his plan, but realistically it was just too much. And um, he started working on a million different things. He started trying to post in forums. He started trying to uh, post in Facebook groups, but he's only working 10 hours a week. He started trying to build a list of local landscaping companies for me that we can market to. So I gave him too much to do. So then I, after that, you know, obviously I wanted to optimize this YouTube channel. I wanted to optimize the website. I was just giving him way too much to do. So I said, you know what? I'm giving you too much to do. That was my mistake. And I made the same mistake uh, when I first used Upwork. And again, I forgot uh, that. But give them very small tasks to do, one simple thing. Uh, you know, I had them basically, what I ended up doing is I gave them a time, I gave them a, um, an SEO report right here. And I said, this SEO report has all these things that it says need to be done to the website, follow this SEO report. So I think that gave him some value. He learned from it. Uh, but and he optimized the website, but it was a much more focused uh, scope of work. So that's important to give a focused scope of work. So anyhow, uh, in summary, Gen M is very cheap, great place to start. Uh, you're expected to mentor them. So as long as you have time to do that and strictly marketing tasks. Uh, Upwork, you can bid a variety of people. Uh, you can give them a rating. I'd say Fiverr is the most hands-off approach because you don't have to mentor them, see what they're doing because they're not working hourly. Because when they're working hourly, they're basically like an employee. You want to make sure they're effective with their time. Whereas Fiverr, uh, they're their own contractors. Uh, you they pay a certain you pay them a certain amount for a certain outcome. So you really it's the most hands-off approach. You can basically just buy things, expect them to get done. Uh, and they're also you can't really delegate. So for example. On Upwork and Gen M, I can delegate my tasks that I want done, whereas on Fiverr, you have to purchase what tasks that they offer. So if you have something specific you need done, uh, Fiverr would not be the place to get that done. So those are the different online remote assistant websites, uh, good places to start. Uh, any other questions? Uh, any questions, uh, post them in the comments below. Uh, check out the website, readybusinesssystems.com. And if you check out um, the description below, you also see a link to Gen M where uh, you can get a special offer uh, through this YouTube video. So I'll catch you guys next time, uh, readybusinesssystems.com.